All right, we're back, team. Let's go. I wish I could seriously zap everyone in this area. Every single time. Right, so... Where are we off to on this one? We've got a quest set right over there. Weasley after class. Oh! Professor Weasley! Stop it, I'm a teenager. Yeah, that load time wasn't too bad to be honest not too bad oh what is that awful lag why is this so laggy hello oh your boy's gonna have to get an upgrade <laughs> i've actually been thinking of upgrading my pc pretty soon so i mean if there's anyone like from the new zealand area that's got a pc hookups or what's a Javi? If Hogwarts survives the reign of this headmaster, I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Lumos. Lumos. Not sure he's in at the present. Let me say, headmaster. Wouldn't be sure. Akio. Very much you despise. All right. Nothing. Oh, do I have to go in here to do it? It's locked. How am I supposed to get in here? You're not yet, imbecile. Alright. Maybe. Yeah. You know what? Why don't we track it like a goon? Wouldn't it be romantic to fly amongst the skies? Shut it, you. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Give me one second. I'm going to just change some settings because this is unnecessarily, like, laggy for me. Mm. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Okay, this is actually a little bit better now. We fixed it. For some reason, it was on, like, 60 FPS, but... We don't do that around here. All right, let's begin this quest. Let's go. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Isn't there? Um... Oh, man, what do we say on this? What do we say? Hey, look, before I even answer this, if you haven't already, give this video a like for me, please. It, it actually goes a long way. And comment. Tell me how you're enjoying this episode. It's only been like five minutes. All right. Um, no, Professor. I feel like being an, an absolute jerk now. I'm not going to lie. Do we just go the full jerk route? Just because Slytherin. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. <laughs> Why? Why is like... Why is the lighting just turned to absolute garbage? I have to switch some settings around after this. Give me a second. Sorry, team. <sighs> what more work? Yeah, that sounds about right. 
I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Cool. Finally get my wand. I found it really cool that, like, in the last one, that, um, that girl had the ability to cast magic without a wand. Like, that's a thing. I don't really know much about, like, the lore of Harry Potter too much, off the top of my head, anyway. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. For me, specifically? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Cool. Let's go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Was Natsai... She was the one that can use the powers, right? <laughs> Who do we choose? I've got to be loyal to my Slytherin brethren. Got to be loyal. And it might get me one step closer to that side quest. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Theophilus, that's a name? No way. <laughs> oh, Theophilus, it is me. Microscopolis. Speak to Professor Ronin. For it is heaven. To receive the first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the mending charm. Repairo. Okay required to complete other quests cool okay so these are the things that are just going to give me some sweet sweet spells that's actually really good to know um i'm gonna quickly just change the setting give me a moment all right i figured it out it was motion blur we're good we're good oh did you see the difference already yes okay um we're about to be going now Going the distance, do 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 do. Repairo. Ah, there you are. Here I am. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Repero. 
fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Look, that's fair enough, team. But I don't know why this game is not performing right now. I may have to check the settings again. This is just a straight up settings video, isn't it? I'll start on the task right away, Professor. interesting it's just the cutscenes that are doing it so just give me a moment team i'm, I'm really sorry this about the this right area i wonder where the flying page is hmm okay hey buddy uh what do i actually have to do for this again i wasn't even paying attention i'm just so upset about this uh i'm not upset but like I'm so annoyed about the quality of the cutscenes does that hurt? Cool. I looked at the I looked at the spells that I had and I was like, that one looks like it's gonna pull them, so we're good. Do I have to get more? Okay. That's alright then would help if I knew where I was going. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Might some kind of help me? If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. <laughs> <laughs> Not the forced encounter. I love that. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Yeah, I got a couple of gobstones. Who didn't have that thought in their brain just then? Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. There are so many innuendos in this right now that it's, I feel a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I'd have done the same. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. <laughs> this is so forced. I love it. I love it. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. It was definitely Imelda. It was definitely her. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. 
I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. All right. The old gobstone. Dude, that looks so cool. Looks like a new old character. Ooh. Never again. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, true. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Weren't. Weren't too much trouble. Oh, okay. These are the gobstone locations. Oh, okay. I see. Wand handles. Wait, can I change my character's look and everything? <sighs> oh no. What have you done, game? <laughs> I must get them all. Okay. Yeah, let's let's focus up on that quest. We can do the gobstones later. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, damn. I have to press another button on the way through? Hello. All right. Go faster! Ooh, almost caught up. Repairo. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's go! The mending charm repairo can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. What the? Hello? <gasps> Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I could do this for hours. No, 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 no. We need to, we need to keep going. An owl over there. It's locked. Oh, bro. This place is an absolute labyrinth. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Keep going. Get out of my way, nerd. Well, fancy meeting you here. Yeah, who would have thought, huh? Who would have thought? Give me a second.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Glad Professor Weasley oh my asked you to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. I just love how, like, they showcase this area and it wasn't even loaded. Speaking of Weasley, <laughs> she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad so I got be of cool this all looks. Adam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Accio. I really thought I could have got something off that, but nope, we're good. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already made. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. It's good that his voice actor is actually sounding puffed out while he's running. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Why are the accents actually kind of cool? Very, very posh. Hold on, that's for a little... Oh, is this the Julian area or something? What was that? Okay. Okay. Mr. Moon. Sorry, Sib. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? D 
demi guys ugly and airy and terrifying i shall be at the castle where it's safe good luck to both of you huh? a demi guys i don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice but he's obviously had too much of it i've never seen mr moon in such a state hello mr moon is quite the character my sister Anne thinks he's lovely but i'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker oh is your sister in slytherin too she is or rather she was she's not well at the moment but she'll be better soon and back at hogwarts oh i'm scared of what that storyline's all about did you do it seb she's sick because of you bro Bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Hogsmeade. All right, I'm forced to walk really slow on this one, so give us a moment. There's a reason, I assume, to so really take it in. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. <laughs> Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Why has the graphics just turned to absolute garbage? Like, I am so sorry, team. All right, the Hogsmeade map shows the different shops, blah, 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 and points of interest. You can track any of these by highlighting an icon with the right click. Cool. Okay, I've just opened up the field of view a little bit, so I can see a little bit more. It's still a bit choppy, isn't it? Look at that. That's all right. Look, let's. Just go around and see what we can do. Hopefully it isn't too choppy in the cutscenes, because that's that's really the biggest issue for me. Dude, open the map. Ooh, there's little fireworks and stuff. That's cool. Looks like square. Broomsticks. I assume I have to go and get one in a second. Ollivanders. It was right there. Are you kidding me? Merlin, blooming beard, not again. Hello? I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. 
Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. How did he know? Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Wood type elder, unicorn here, unyielding, 13 and a quarter inches. It's pretty cool. What other options did we get? <gasps> Wait, you can actually choose the finish of it? Oh, bro! See, it's the little customization things like this that really just, it's just right, you know? Curious indeed. Dark brown. Mmm. Dude. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Oh, that one looks evil as hell. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. You will have worn a second more. Curious indeed. <laughs> oh, if you know, you know. How intriguing. Curious indeed. <laughs> Quite bendy. <laughs> Oh no. How intriguing. Alright, we'll, we'll keep it with this because I don't know what the hell is going to go on, but I would love for it to be a dragon heart string. That is way cooler. Phoenix is not bad, but that just means you die and come back to life. And you know, I don't plan on dying. I don't plan on losing. indeed how intriguing damn what's the kind of standard looking i'm not gonna lie this one demon like a blood like a, like a blood it's like a bone what do you think Ordinary. 
Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Ha ha ha. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Ollivander is the guy, eh? You're the man, dude. You are the man. Let me just rack this from you real quick, Ollivander. Thanks, bro. You're the man. You're the man, Ollivander. Give me a second. What is it? Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'll take up herbology. Uh, where else are we going? Place looks like it's the one. Can we get a firebolt here? Is that even exist in this time? Uh. Let me in. This is mental. Give me that! Hmm. <gasps> You're forced to learn it? Nah. I ain't about that. Ah, oh, dude. Okay. Well, we have to go there, don't we? Was it in gear? Do I have to do that? Magic, so I need to get... Magic Neep. J. Pippin's potions and scrolls. J. Pippin's potions. old fool leave my dad out of this game what are you doing yeah oh bro look at that haircut that's the guy right there my oh, man i can't even talk to him can i talk to you now hello near I'm not a man with money, is it? Unbelievable. Hello. <gasps> yes. I'm 
so easily distracted, but look at them. Wait, what? Rebellious. Hey, buddy. Okay. Let's pet that one real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff. J-Pip! J-Pips! J-Pips potions! Oh, look at the face! Look at the intensity of this run! <laughs> I'm going to learn this year! <laughs> Jesus. Welcome to J-Pippin's potions! Potions! Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. They are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Ooh. Evil. All right, so, oh, okay, so we can learn recipes. What else we got? Focus potion. Thunderbrew. Ooh, sounds like my stomach. Okay. Invisibility potion recipe. Love it. Moxima. A limited amount of time. Okay, dope. No, oh, okay, I have to hold it down. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. In a rush? Cool. All right. Well, I'll be off. Cheers, brother. Rebellion. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Oh. What in the Revelio is going on out there? There's a lot of hidden things around there. Do you see that? Is it just me? You. Revelio. Revelio. <laughs> oh. 
Dude, there's a lot that you can do around here with Revalio. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting distracted all the time, but there's just so much to do in this game. You're really getting your bang for buck out of this, aren't you? Come away. An inquiring mind. Thomas Brown. Wow. Really didn't leave any imagination behind, did they? What was up with those glowing boxes in Ollivanders, by the way? Anyone notice that? I was kind of hoping that would be like a sign. Okay. I really feel like it's uh, about to be a really laggy cutscene. Don't know why. But, look, tough luck. Sorry, team. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Hey, preach to that one, brother. Love it. All right, what do we got? Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Yeah, bro. You kidding me? I like the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Uses pot to grow all sorts of useful magic plants. Cool. Yeah, bro, let's get that. Unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station. Perfectly suited to all of your potions brewing needs. Okay. Cool. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I would love to, but bro, I'm poor. Pretty sure this character's got more money in his pocket than I do in real life right now. Bro, what? I find it perplexing that he didn't give a damn that that just happened. Just random people come in, make themselves at home. Like, excuse me, sir? Revelio. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. team magic needs oh bro it was this i'm reading it with it's neat this whole time i'm reading it like it's need oh, i'm screwed in the head we won't talk about that eh <laughs> we won't be talking about that emily if you're watching this i'm sorry i've let you down teach So now, like, you're an idiot. 
I love how the game just decides, oh, hey, look, now I'm going to perform. Now the game's going to look nice and smooth. Kidding me? Well, hello there. Hey, bro, what's up? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. After something fresh. This guy sounds like a... Uh, a family friend. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Better. Never better. Sebastian! Dude, the kids... How did he move like that? Except... Hello? <laughs> what was that? We're just goose tips like so hard. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. <laughs> run do the job what is going on all right Goodness, 
A second troll? Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again.